Welcome back to welcome back to Gator Box, by the way, everybody. Um, I'm Draco. This is Ness. Uh, you might be wondering, you know, well, clearly with the with the outbreak of uh, COVID nineteen, you can tell she's taken uh, steps to protect herself from uh, the germs that that cause the illness. Um, actually, that's not why she's wearing a face mask and gloves. It's purely because we're tonight's game is the Power Player Super Joy three thing again. And um, every time I open this box, like the Chinese chemicals inside of the styrofoam and plastic and everything, it hurts my face after a while, and it smells like cancer. Basically, you know when you take a shot of you take a shot of like a it's like a really hard liquor, and it just burns your throat. That kind of burns in like a good way, though, right? It's like, mm, damn, that's some stiff whiskey, whatever it is. Get, huffing this elicits the same response, except instead of that, you'll get like brain cancer, right? One of them destroys your liver, the other one just will just flat out kill you. So that's that's about where we are. This isn't the one we're playing tonight. We actually have the other the other one, the original model one that I have. But one of the things I noticed that you saw when we unboxed this one a couple weeks ago is that the the power cable that's you know with the wire that's all coiled around it. Um, the whatever plasticizers are in the rubber that coats the wiring were leaching onto the styrofoam and melting the styrofoam. That's alarming because this is you know a couple years old. Well, this is a, a model from 2003 that I borrowed from my brother, and uh, the power cable was just wrapped around it, you know, crisscross like a Nintendo 64 controller plug, and that was also leaching something because the it, it slowly kind of ate into the plastic of the controller so whatever these things are made out of you probably don't want to hang on to uh long term go uh now some of these games i'm going to mention uh we're going to skip over if we've already played them on the other one of these before if there's no substantial difference so some of them like galaza that's just Galaga. We've played Galaga. We've played Popeye. We've played F1 Race. We've played Star Force. We've played 1942. You know, Ar Arkanoid. We've done that. So we're going to skip over a lot of those so that we don't repeat. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. All right. So let me do the... Man, I really... This isn't the power... The video cables that came with it. These are mine. And they're just not quite long enough. But they're like the really nice heavy-duty ones to get like the best possible why is this hot i mean this is where the power thing plugs into this handle this handle on the controller is kind of warm it's warmer than this one i don't like these i, I this doesn't feel safe this doesn't feel safe so uh i believe we stopped on castle excellent number 11 last time now, I know it says 128 and 1. We got a lot to go, but we, we're going to see some repeats here. Let's take a look at uh, Key Kong, which might be Donkey Kong Jr. No. What the fuck? Is, <laughs> is this a Gundam game? Is that... Or, no, Transformers. This is... Okay, that's Optimus Prime. I thought that was Zeta Gundam at first. Fuck. <laughs> okay, how do I fight back? <laughs> I don't like it! Okay, we got one. Oh shit. Can I. No, 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 get him! <laughs> didn't make it past the first screen. The screen didn't even get the scroll to the right. Why is it called King Kong? Key Kong. Oh, there's a continue code, but when you die on the first screen, I don't need it. Now, how do I turn to a truck? Is it select? Is it down? That's what I'm talking about! Here we go. Optimus Prime is not a fire truck, is he? He's, he's like a freight truck, a semi truck. Shit. Okay, this is not a good game, but I kind of I kind of have the hang of it now, clearly. Like, don't play as Optimus Prime the robot. You want to play as Optimus Prime the the truck carrying toilet paper to the Walmart, okay? Autobots, transform and roll out. 
double rolls, the same as two single rolls. Fuck! <laughs> Transformers Mystery of Atlantis. <laughs> we haven't played B Wangs. This is uh, actually misspelled. It's supposed to be B Wings. And this game is is stupid. I think this was this is definitely a Famicom game, but I don't think it was released here. Uh, I know from having played this before that hammers where you want to go. Yeah. So this is just a crappy vertical shooter. There's just a lot of just really annoying sound effects here. And then the little spinning black things on my ship also, those little, little tallywhackers, those also get enemies out of my way. Mmm, this is a good game right here. What, what I like about this is that it doesn't make like an annoying sound. Oh, that's a new item, I don't want that. I don't want to change, I don't want to change off my hammer. Look at that. So that's the reason why I picked this. Nice seam in the background, by the way. That's completely undetectable. Don't know how you managed to do that. Like, there's nothing on the screen. No lives counter. My score isn't here. I can't watch my score go up as I'm, as I'm hitting guys with my little beanie boppers or whatever. Like, there's absolutely nothing to look at. It shows you your score and your lives when you start a stage because you scroll past them on the screen. They couldn't figure out how to get that information to stay in like one spot on the screen permanently. Maybe, I, maybe I'm being too hard on them. I don't know. Oh, hang on, you guys hear that? The boss is coming. You guys hear that? This came out June 3rd, 1986. That is... Inexcusable. <laughs> Inexcusable. All right. Oh no! Will we get with my little boob? No, oh, I've lost one of my little my little whack. No, I didn't. Say, I got a turbo button. Fuck this. Try playing this with no turbo button. Good God. There you go. Now, now it just blinks. There you go. We beat him. Quality game right here. Quality game. And that, we don't get to select the weapon because we've already done that. It just scrolls us right past the damn thing. Oh, we're and we're we're good to go. This is this is this is such a bullshit game. At least the background's different. I mean, they they did that much, but that's nah. -uh. You gotta do more than that. That's not enough. That's not enough. I'm blasting I'm done. <laughs> to quote Joel Hogson, it stinks. What is Challenger? Real-time action adventure. Oh, this is the game that is on the train. Let's crank that difficulty down a little bit, because this is a hard game. I don't think we played this on the other one. Okay, well I already fell off the train. All right, so now there's a thunderstorm on the train, and I don't think I don't think my knives can kill the lightning. That's that seems uh, unrealistic. This game didn't come out in the United States. Did oh fuck, I fell off the train again. This would have been a great game for North America. It's got like a little cowboy and everything. I gotta be honest though, when I saw that the game name was Challenger, I was gonna I was prepared to make a space shuttle joke. That was not the fire button. That's instant karma right there, by the way. Instant karma. Do I have unlimited lives? Here we go. What can we just go in here? Oh, <laughs> I tried. I tried to think outside of the box, okay? This is... <laughs> playing as Dwight Yoakam saves the day. 
There we go. That's the bird that got me last time. Okay, I guess the storm has passed. I got plenty of knives to go around, buddy. Okay, we're in the train. So... Those guys were jumping over my knives, weren't they? Please start me in the train. No! Oh my fucking... There's no checkpoints in a game made in 1985. Wow, what a surprise. Now, these guys... Okay, we got them. Fire guy? Okay, we, we can duck. So we duck under the fire. And we knife these guys. This is actually pretty hard because, you know, there's that the seams in the train cars. I can't really see. Oh, shit. Okay. So those guys are just jumping at regular intervals. They're not necessarily dodging my knife. I'm just throwing my knife like an idiot. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat the first stage. We're gonna save Princess Leia. Is the train slowing down or is it? Okay, here we are. No, no, Mr. T. No, fuck. He... All right, so you know we got away, but we. <laughs> oh, search Prince. What? Oh, this is cool. So it's not, not, not every stage is a train stage. Oh, but this is the, this is the, this is the controller that has the up button that doesn't really want to work. So what do we, okay, so both things throw knives now. So I guess we just walk up to various places and... We have to search Princess. No, no, no. Don't touch me. Power up. Power up. Power up. Oh, it's like a sword. Give me it. What do you... F oh, okay. What the hell? Let me in here, Skellington. I got... I got... A, I'm on a mission. Get the keyword. Oh, my God. I... <laughs> this... What is this game? Oh, shit. I'm dead. I actually really like this. No, don't no oh, fuck. If you I guess if you die it sends you back a level. And if you die on level 1, you can't go back any further so you're at level 1. So I okay, power up, power up, power up. Give me that. I don't know what that did. Power up. Oh, that just kills all the enemies on the screen. Okay. So I guess we had to have a bomb or something to get past the the skeleton. No! Oh, it's a joke. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Fucker. It really is like spelunker. You fall a certain distance and you die no matter what? Get the hell out of here! So, you get a power-up if you kill four enemies and you don't miss a shot. Well, that sucks on this D-pad. That is not good. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get the keyword. And we're not gonna... Now we're gonna jump. Oh, that fucking fire guy. Better not. He better not. Do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, we gotta go back, don't we? Uh, I kind of figured that was gonna be the. No. Okay. Oh shit. It's moving too fast. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. We got the keyword. Done. Good. Oh, that's the keyword. Good. search for the- now we're going back to searching for the princess. Okay, uh, so I have a feeling... I have a- oh, oh, get away from me. Give me that, give me 
Yeah, give me that. All right. So now do we go back here? Maybe. I realize I can go back here. Oh, shit. Okay, the, the not being able to move up thing is... Where in the hell are we going? Can you kill these guys? I figured you probably couldn't. So I assume we need the keyword to get into... Don't touch me. <laughs> what is this game? What is this, like an army base now? With like robots? What the hell? I have never played this in my life. What in the... F okay, I got the keyword. Robot. Why is the skeleton guarding the robot base? I've got the keyword. Now, okay, now this, now we're starting to, we're starting to repeat it now. But this is actually like an a actual key, so we might be pretty close to the, shit. That's gonna kill me. Nope, okay. Okay, we got the key. Been on my last life for a while here. Making me very anxious. Okay. We got, we got this. We got this. We got this. It's impossible to beat the game without overthinking of the end of the entire game. Well, I at least want to see if it does something different. We, so we got a key. I guess we're going back to search for the fucking princess again. I mean, now it's kind of, now it's getting kind of samey. I was hoping that, like, maybe... Maybe, like, you'd get the keyword and then you'd go back and, you know, there's nothing back here. Oh, now, oh, now we go this way. And sh hit the dog skulls. Those are skeletal dogs, you know, with the bone, with this, with the bones that dogs do have, you know, the ones they own under their fur. Okay, so that, oh shit, these are all barricaded up. This looks like a pretty competent game. I'm actually impressed. Like, I guess I'm dead. That's gonna be game over. Yeah, the enemies are definitely insufferable here. I tell you what, this is not a bad little game. Uh, you know, I, I usually, if I played, I'm crank it way down, difficulty way down. I'm starting to see why Nintendo got pissed off about this, because they're putting an awful lot of pretty damn good games on this. Bomb Jack, uh, have we seen... We didn't see Mighty Bomb Jack, but we've, uh... You guys know about this game. I like this game. I gotta be careful, because this is a game I will play in one sitting if, you know, you guys let me. So you collect all the bombs in a stage, and you can also open the treasure chest by jumping on top of them. Those of y'all that are big fans of Your Level Sucks might recognize a stage called Mighty Mario Bomb Jack. This is the game it's based off of. So those little coins you get can help you open up, uh... They do, they do different things depending on how many you have. You can spend coins to uh, unlock different powers for Bomb Jack. Some of them will allow you to open up treasure chests while standing next to them. But you have to be careful not to pick up ten of them. Or have nine, have nine in your inventory and then pick up a tenth one. Because then the game says you're being greedy and it'll send you to a penalty stage. How about that? And I think, actually, having this on allows you to get hit once and not die, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Mm, I'm not gonna worry about that. It's just 100 points. Uh, Bomb Jack only has one jump height. Big. I'm gonna grab it now. <laughs> I'm gonna do stupid shit. Ooh, I want that. Oh, I guess it doesn't protect you from one hit. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, well, that's that actually starts... You want to see the penalty stage. All right, well, let me see how fast I can get there. I just died. Well, actually, I kept my coins when I died, so...
the little p the little p coin that comes up turns all the enemies on the screen into uh, bonus points that you can get. I probably shouldn't be spending the coins, actually. Let me not do that. Let's see if I can... Alright, so we're one coin away from that, and I think there's another... Oh, we just gotta get one more. If, if you tap the jump button in the air, you can slow your fall. There we go. You are greedy! Go to the torture room! So, what you have to do in the torture room is you just have to wait for this timer to go out. All well enemies just keep spawning at you. You also lose all your coins, too. You have to... Oh, no, you, no, I'm sorry. You have to jump a certain number of times inside the torture room while these enemies are floating around trying to kill you. That's what it was. It's not It's not seconds. It's jumps. You have to do push-ups. They, they, they say, drop and give me 50. Literally. Let's see if we can get out of the torture room. I think every time you come here, they get harder. They'll put more enemies inside the, the room. This is such a bizarre punishment in a game. I've never seen anything like this before. There we go. Alright, and then it kicks you back to the beginning of the stage as if you had died. Although it, it doesn't it doesn't subtract a life from you, but it's essentially the same kind of penalty. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's Mighty Bomb Jack. I got to be careful because I I will I will play this game in one sitting. So I, let's save that for a speed run. Uh, I don't think we've played Bird Week. Uh, this game appears on it's a Famicom game that appears on a lot of these bootleg things. And you're basically uh, a bird, and you have to you just you just fly around. You collect these uh, butterflies, and eventually one of the little babies in the nest will start freaking out, and you go, you go feed him the you feed him the the thing. And if you take too long, then they die or something. And uh, you literally just get through a, a week as the the mama bird. This game is literally just a matter of picking up butterflies and waiting for the waiting for the baby birds to get restless. It's it's harmless enough, but this this is one of those games that gets like really hard really fast. Also, you you move in the direction uh, aside from up and down. Once you pick a direction, you start moving in that direction. And you don't stop. They grow up so fast! Oh my god. Catching, catching these butterflies is the worst part of this game. It's also one of the only parts of this game, so it's, you know... Not doing too good here. Birds. There we go. <laughs> Big speed. Bird week! More like turd week! Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Comedy. I don't know what it was with uh, games that take place during a week, but I think there was also that Famicom game, uh, A Week of Garfield or something. It's like really bad. It's like a, it's like a really bad Famicom game with Garfield. What happened to all the good game? I ate those food. <laughs> Garfield. Where is the good Famicom game? I ate those food. I do like the little dance that the baby birds do when they get hungry and angry. It's amusing. But I, I have to be honest, I'm not like I'm not I'm not super into this game. Let's see let's see if we can complete this stage though. I think we need to feed him one more butterfly. And they'll be they'll be good to go. Man, this this janky D-pad is really. I mean, this this power joy is essentially a fucking collector's item at this point. Oh 
<laughs> he just starts dancing faster and faster. He's going Super Saiyan. Here, eat up. Oh. <laughs> a week of Garfield, a month of Heathcliff. No. Nobody can withstand that. So that's Bird Week. I mean, the game... Yeah, see, here you go. And I think you get... You get more trees. Still the same two birds, though, but now there's, like, a cat climbing that tree, so you have to avoid him. So you get more hazards. The, fir the first one is that condor, obviously. And then there's the lizard. Then there's the cat. And I think there's stuff that flies at the top of the screen. Can you do anything to that cat, or does... Is that a squirrel, or...? I don't know. All right. Small Mary. Hang on, is this... Is this... No, this isn't Granddad. But this almost is. I don't know. I don't know how to play this one. Good God, this is... How do I bet? I want to bet. There we go. Th this is essentially the same thing as, as that game. Alright, now spin. There we go. <laughs> this one doesn't have the thing where you pound the block a bunch of times. Oh hey, we got bar. So that's that's the big payout. That's the jackpot. Do something. Show me sir, show me Mario. What happened? What do we do? I was really kind of hoping the curtains would raise up and there'd be like Mario down there in his fucking granddad pose or something. Flappy? Okay. Push select button. Mixing things up on me here. Keyword and music. Key... <laughs> it's called a name. Oh, well. We can't fit poop town, so we're just gonna- we're gonna be pooped. Player one. Is this fucking Boulder Dash, aka Sokoban or something? So I'm assuming. I already know what this trash is. You have to get the blue thing on the blinking. Whatever. I don't even care. I hate this. probably gonna crush me from underneath it. Yeah, big surprise there. I know what I have to do. You have to... You have to push the blue flashing thing on the blue whatever down there. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't... <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Great. This game is really bad. I think I solved it. We just gotta do this. I'm pushing the wrong boulders down. Then you push the big, this one over here. And then I realized I can't get to the blue one. I hate this. This is so terrible. I don't like this game at all. If I s select the death button, is start the death button. 
start and then select and then A and then B. This is crap. Hey, thanks for checking out Gatorbox on YouTube. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to kick around with us live, follow us on Twitch because we do this several times during the week. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by subscribing right here on YouTube, following or subscribing over on Twitch, or even making a pledge on Patreon. Your support over the years has been tremendous. Thank you so, so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video right here on Gatorbox.